We're sorry. Sorry. Oh god. Sorry. Damn it. Sorry, not now sorry. Now I'm self-conscious about my sniffs. Oh my god. No, Everyone's... don't be. Oh god. Oh, oh. Oh no. Oh my <laughs> god. I hate everything right now. It's exposure therapy. Oh my god. Oh, nice. My Uber Eats is almost here. Nice. Oh, a stream video? Cool. Nice. Oh, wow. We have like a double niceness. Should we wait for Snake? I think he might like this too. Hmm. Should we call him like we chant his name? Like a, a rhythmic uh, pattern with our orifices. Legless lizard, legless lizard, legless lizard, lizard, legless lizard, 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 lizard. Where is you, snake? Snake! Snake! Did it work? What? Hey, it worked. All right. <laughs> BRB, my food's here. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. <laughs> now I gotta wait for him. Shit. All right. Well, now we gotta chant Russ. Russ, money. Russ. <laughs> <laughs> What's this video? Uh, all right. Fuck it. Let's do it. All right. Chat will be back in 20 seconds. Uh, once I press this button. All right. That will, that will, yeah, you get it. I'm glad Snake is laughing so much he had to mute his mic. It's just so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't like you want, uh, anyone else for this. Too EA. I'm I'm down. Uh, freaking. Hmm. Hmm. First person that I know that joins the channel that I see will soon be able to join. Cry Something and me. me. Yes, there you go. I was trying to make it a fucking riddle, but... Let me in. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I gotta get back to work. All right. Good luck, buddy. Been... Hey, Cry. Yes, sir. You're a cool fellow. Aww. You're doing all right. Thanks, man. Open and... your mic setup's pod, buddy. Oh, it is. I can do this. And... Oh, I hate oh. it. <laughs> and... Oh, yep, yep. Yeah. Definitely cool one of the worst fellow. things I've ever heard in my life. Cool fellow. Cool fellow. Oh, God. Hey, hey cry. Mm -hmm. Thanks! <laughs> Not a problem, man. Have a great night. Ah, oh, the honeymoon phase. <laughs> yeah, he'll get over it soon. No, Just like I have. You <laughs> will oh. not. No. No, not a bit. What does a custom Dreams setting look true. like? I don't know. I've never oh, done no. custom before. A miserable pile of secrets. Do it. Ooh. Oh. You are a nice snake. Set us up. Okay. All right. So give us a give us an example. I'm a streamer on Twitch.tv. What else? What's the goal? What is our quest? Hmm. <laughs> uh. I'm trying to make it to TwitchCon Amsterdam. Okay. By boat. <laughs> hey, I think that's good enough, right? Yeah. Wait. Wait, wait. How about we, like we're, um we're, we're, a spawn point? We need. We need. We need. Um. You enter the forest, searching for the dragon. For it. Wait, what? You arrive at the like you arrive at oh, the dock. Oh, and C. Okay, so the boatman or something. So you arrive at the harbor or something like that. All right. Let's see, let's see if it reads this. Beep boop, beep beep boop. 
Wow! Whoa! The captain's waiting for us. Stab the smallest pirate. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm helping. Hey, it's working. You stab the small pirate in the eye, causing him to fall backwards. You turn around and jump onto his back and rip out his throat with your teeth. <laughs> oh my god, that's yeah, way worse. Just like Goku. Just yeah. like Goku. God damn it. That's how you spell that. <laughs> Isn't it? I have a free. Fuck. You raise your hands and unlash the ba a blast of fire? Nice. The Just like Juno Gravis. Burning your skin off and leaving you with nothing more than a pile of ash. You collapse on the ground with a thought. What? Man. Are we dead? Not no. yet. Game over hasn't we're, happened. We're, we're a pile of ash. Well, we have a, we we have a, a spirit. <laughs> Maybe we our spirit could like possess a go a, a dude's like body or some shit like you know one of their, like their strongest Grievous. yeah possess as, their strongest dude as a final attack you summon phoenix and rise from the ashes yeah just be reborn duh easy <laughs> well, fuck. <laughs> Read it out. You summon a phoenix and fly upwards. You soar through the sky as you release the burst of flame. The flames envelop you completely, melting your flesh off and leaving you as nothing more than ashes. You collapse onto the ground with a thud. How do, how do ashes make a thud? That's so <laughs> That's hot. That's what I was thinking, too. Uh, They're like really wet ashes. I look for a strong host to possess with my spirit. Oops. You look around and find- What? <laughs> <laughs> Find a young girl dressed in black robes. She smiles at you and walks over to you. I'm sorry, but I am not suitable. What? You ask. She shrugs her shoulders. We're, we're, we can still talk as a pile of dust. <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> awesome. It typed a what just as you said. What? what? Yeah. <laughs> of all, why did you possess a pirate? <laughs> you ask the girl, the young girl in black robes if she knows of a suitable host for your powerful soul is the pirate like not a host? concern for her <laughs> i don't think so what's this hmm. <laughs> you cannot this, handle my soul this is all uncanny valley you ask the girl in black robes do you know anyone the girl looks at you and then shakes her head. No, I don't think so. She continues to shake her head as she walks away. You sigh deeply and walk after the girl. <laughs> as ashes. <laughs> Possess the girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you. <laughs> you grab the girl in black robes and wrap your arms around her. Oh. I kiss her passionately and tell her that I love her. No, that's I not the kind of- I possess her. No! She's mine! Oh my god. Assuming direct control. <laughs> Don't be mad. I got us a wife, guys. <laughs> Check that off the list. Let's get to fucking TwitchCon now. Yeah, why is she on a pirate boat? Who <laughs> calls it a pirate boat? Everyone. <laughs> it's a very smooth. It's, it's a rowboat. <laughs> it's. I call child services and demand this girl be removed from the ship immediately. They arrive shortly after with an escort the girl out of the room. Whew. Crisis averted. Thank God. All right, so what about these pirates? They're just watching this whole situation like, the fuck is happening? Why is Ash calling people? Where did okay, this kid on. even come from? Upon regaining consciousness, I checked my surroundings. Shit. 
It knows. It will know. It might. <laughs> oh my. Oh. You awaken and find yourself lying naked on a bed. A woman stands over you. Good morning, she said. Hello. Where are my clothes? I asked. Where is John Connor? While <laughs> looking for John Connor. <laughs> Ask for her boots and her bike. The woman looks down at you and smiles. Oh, yes. No. You're back home. John Connor brought you back to us. Oh, no. Wait. I thought you were dead. You exclaim. She shrugs her shoulders. Not quite yet, but soon we will be. Oh, oh my god, what the oh fuck? Oh, no. oh my god, is she gonna kill us both? <laughs> we need to get to the convention in Amsterdam before we die. Can we teleport there? As far as I remember, we had a convenient portal in our living room. On the boat. <laughs> <laughs> the woman nods. Yes, you can use that portal. We just need to get rid of your clothes. You don't have any. <laughs> what? You grab someone <laughs> off the floor. And throw them off. <laughs> so you just push them on another part of the floor. All right. It, it's part of the ritual. It's fine. <laughs> That's like a child cleaning their room, but you know, not trying hard enough. <laughs> To hell with you, woman. Put on clothes and jump into portal. You can't tell me when I can and cannot be nude. <laughs> you jump in the portal, land safely in Amsterdam. As you walk around town, you see a lot of people dressed in costumes. They all stare with you with strange expressions on their face. What even calls after you? Hey, is that really you? Wow, they recognize your stream Sona. Spit on that fan. Oh God, this is this is not in words but narration like yes <laughs> <is me." laughs> you turn on spotted one it is me PewDiePie everyone laughs so I'm back you say where should we go next the young girl walks off to you and puts her hand on your shoulder oh, she's God, a viewer she back? <laughs> oh, God. oh God it makes sense <laughs> it's fucking Pew's viewer bro fister you're not my wife I say in confusion somehow auto translates to you're not Martia. So is this how a PewDiePie's comeback is going to happen? Uh, yes. While wearing a witch doctor skin. <laughs> <laughs> the girl looks at you with surprise. No, I'm sorry. I don't think so. What did you say? You ask in disbelief. I said, you're not my wife, she replies. We don't marry each other anymore. <laughs> oh. oh, God. Dude, this is like, do we like travel to like a dystopian society that like. This is what happens for wearing clothes in the portal. Uh, them with the biggest, most kawaii eyes and ask them to marry me. This is like Garfield effects and instruction. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you take out your phone and start recording. <laughs> PewDiePie, why do you hate me so much? You ask. <laughs> he looks at this phone and smirks because you ruined my life. What the fuck is happening? What just happened? What the fuck? What Who are we? What is another PewDiePie happening? with like a mustache. <laughs> this is some, like, look around and realize that every buddy around you is PewDiePie. Oh no. John Malkovich. This is an entire city of PewDiePies. Oh, you set me up and I love it. The real one. On this very special episode of Young and the Restless. <laughs> You look around and realize that nobody else is wearing anything. 
<laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Nobody is eating anything except pizza and beer. Everybody seems to be having fun, which makes you sad. Oh, uh, this just got real. What the fuck? <laughs> They have the smallest PewDiePie. <laughs> you quickly stab the nearest PewDiePie. He screams, falls to the ground. Why did you kill him? You cry out in anger. <laughs> the rest of them laugh and they run away from you. That was stupid. <laughs> With your new partner, you set out to solve the murder of PewDiePie. <laughs> Who could have done it? Literally three seconds ago, you just stabbed him. <laughs> Who did this? <clears throat> you find a man who looks very similar to PewDiePie. He has the same curly black hair and glasses. That's PewDiePie. They both run towards the police station together. <laughs> who killed you? Shot at the top of your lungs. <laughs> Blood still dripping down here. You run up to the nearest officer and shake him by the collar. Who killed PewDiePie? You scream again. Oh, it was me. The policeman says, <laughs> confused. How can you two be here at the same time? <gasps> oh, shit. We are PewDiePie. Oh, so we're a zombie. Oh, dude. It's like we're a clone, maybe? <gasps> I'm the murderer, the policeman shouts. And you are the victim. Oh, shit. <laughs> what? As the sun descends beyond the glass, you idly wonder what kind of snacks they serve on this flight. PewDiePie's still on your head? He better be. We uh, left him there. Do we have to pay for another ticket for him? <laughs> oh. The plane takes off and lands safely. You sit down and eat some food that someone brought along for you. It tastes really good. You're hungry. <laughs> What's going to happen next? <laughs> I eat a snake as I look the flight attendant in the eye. You eat a snake. As I stare at the flight attendant in her eyes, she smiles and waves goodbye to you. She goes back to work. <laughs> Good service. Yep. Not the first time, not the last time. Ask Sean Bean why he thinks he has to die in all of his movies. Oh, Sean Bean's talking about himself in, in third person. There's a lot of person switches going on here. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Because he's dying of cancer. Really? You respond, no, no, no. He doesn't know that yet. What? What said? Cure Sean Bean's cancer. It's just that easy, guys. <laughs> Take a deep breath and begin to sing, cure me of my cancer. An attempt to cure Sean Bean of his cancer. Fortunately, <laughs> you don't manage to save him from death. He dies soon after that. The end. You. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> or is it? Begin season two. Begin season two. Whose turn was this? Uh, yours, I think. Your right? turn. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Shit. Sean. Sean. Beamism. Oh no. <laughs> 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 oh, no, we corrected it. <laughs> or did it? After Sean Bean died, you went into a depression. You felt like you failed as a human being because you couldn't save Sean Bean. So you decided to create a religion on him. The beam... <laughs> the beam church of Sean Bean. Dude, that's kind of better, honestly. <laughs> what? what? You begin your life as a missionary. Your first stop. The Museum of Natural History. Hmm. Oh no. <laughs> if they bring up Nicholas fucking Cage, you're gonna lose my shit. <laughs> Your first stop is the Natural History Museum. You spend hours looking through its vast collection of fossils and other specimens. As you're browsing through the exhibits, you come across something interesting. A fossilized arm bone. Summon 
the ghosts of Sean Bean <laughs> and introduce them to him. <laughs> <laughs> I love the extent of how far these stories go from where they begin. <laughs> I call upon the spirit of Sean Beam. Explain that I have a fossilized arm bone that can summon magic powers. The spirit of Sean Bean appears before and he says, Hello, Sean. I'm here to help you. <laughs> talking to himself. Every missionary of the church is also known as Sean. That is the title. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Sean. Instead of father, I kind of like that, honestly. Yes, I am Sean John. Oh, hello, yes, I'm Sean Fred. Mm. <laughs> oh, no. You shout, someone stole the Declaration of Independence and we need your help. He looks at you with a blank expression. Then he begins to laugh. Oh, yes, that was fun. How did it go? Did you get caught? <laughs> what the f He's assuming you did it. I guess. Sean Bean is an omnipotent. He knows what goes on. You tug at your collar. Sean, you're going to get me in trouble. <laughs> collar, not call. call. Shit. <laughs> Uh-oh. Pull at your collar, which causes Sean Bean to chuckle. He says, well, maybe not, but you'll get yourself in trouble. What? <laughs> I don't even know the context of what's happening. I think he has the brain damage. <laughs> Away from Sean Bean's eyes and try to find the witch and see if she can expel the demon of Sean Bean. <laughs> You look away from Sean B's eyes and try to find the demon who can expel the demon of Sean Bean. <laughs> you find a young girl dressed in black robes. No, she God. has a long hair tied back in a ponytail and wears a hooded cloak. Why is she back? I thought she was dead. Oh no. Wait, she went with the CPS. I thought I got rid of you. Why are you here? Are you working with the demon of Sean Bean? Don't talk to her like that's my wife. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I possess her. <laughs> <laughs> you scream. Why am I getting tricked by a demon? You're not real. I thought you were dead. She smiles and says, no, I'm not. But I don't think you want to hear my story. You're right. Leave. <laughs> huh? <laughs> you turn around and leave the witch. She walks off into another room. You enter the next room where you find a large stone with several candles burning on it. There are also three statues of men holding hands, each holding an orb of some kind. Awaken my masters! Three statues of men holding hands, each holding an orb. How are they holding an orb if they, they're all they holding? They like clasped in between their held hands. Oh, I see. It's cute. Hmm. Ooh, woo. <laughs> hmm? Got gotcha. you. Like that. You grab all the orbs and throw them at Gachi. Oh no! <laughs> they hit him, but his body's so strong that they shatter against the floor instead of killing him. Panicky! Gachi laughs. Gachi laughs. Haha! Now you know how I feel about the silly little thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he summoned a Gachi demon. I mean, I'm not complaining, honestly. <laughs> My true master has awoken. <laughs> Teach me your power, Master Gachi. <laughs> You kneel. <laughs> oh no, you kneel in front of Gachi. Uh -oh. We're gonna be Gachi servants. You say, Master Gachi, please teach me your magic. 
I'll be grateful. Dachi nods and raises his hand to you. His fingers touch yours and he says, <laughs> <laughs> And he says, <laughs> Touch me again and I shall grant whatever you wish. Whatever wish you have. I he touch does, yes. him and wish for the biggest biceps in the world. <laughs> Hope we're just top heavy. <laughs> you touch Gachi and he grins. He says, very good, very good. He then lifts you up high into the air and throws you through a wall. The force of the fall knocks you out. <laughs> <laughs> Gachi! What the fuck? Gachi is a fickle god, what the hell? Hands up. You awaken with a sore head and examine your arms to see if Gachi granted your wish of the biggest biceps. You notice that you now have six extra arms. You quickly realize what happened when you touch one of them. Ah! <laughs> All right. Nice. Show Gachi who the boss of this gym is. <laughs> Wait, so we had three arms before, so now we have nine yeah, arms? <laughs> Wait, no, you have six extra arms. Yeah, we have nine arms now. Yes. You stand up and walk over to Gachi. He looks down at you, smiling. He then turns to the other two figures on the altar and says, I've been waiting for someone like you to come along. Oh god, it's anime now. Oh, right, because he was one of the three men holding hands, and you took his orbs and then threw them at him, and it didn't work. He's only Wamu. This makes sense. I want to test him. I'm going to tell you how many arms Gachi has. Turns out <laughs> probably. <100. laughs> You ask, how many arms have you given me? Six, he replies. That's more than anyone has ever had, you explain. Yes. Yes, it is. God, she agrees. <laughs> but I asked for the biggest biceps. <laughs> Yo, at the end of this, can you name the story and Gachi grinned? I love it. <laughs> I think that would be, I think that'd be pretty fitting. She shrugs and says, Well, I guess we'll have to settle a little later. The pair of you leave the church and go back home. Hmm. On the way hand home, in hand. holding hands with Gachi, you ask, Is there really life after death? He would know. He would know. You stop walking and hold hands with Gachi. You both look at each other and smile. You say, there is. Then you kiss him passionately and tell him, thank you for granting my wish of having more arms. <laughs> I wanted the quality and he gave me quantity of biceps. You use all of your nine arms to lift Gachi in the air and place him on top of, oh dear. Wait, what? You kiss him deeply and say, I love you. You then begin kissing each <laughs> What? <laughs> this is, a, be is this an erotica now? <laughs> you then begin kissing each part of yourself until you reach your husband. Push Gachi off and say, no, no, I won't marry you. Gachi smiles and says, oh, well, that's too bad. Perhaps another time. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, no. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I had to save the stream. Hell yeah. The strongest steed in the land. 
You turn Gachi into a horse and ride away from here. As you ride away, you hear a voice call out to you. Hey, what are you doing? I thought we were getting married. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I really have kind of I... lost the plot. You absorb the power of Gachi and seem shriveled into dust as your nine biceps grew to monstrous size. You then proceed to eat a- What? <laughs> huh. You put your hand in your heads and ask, Did I do good, Papa? A man who looks like a priest appears and asks, Are you okay? You reply, Yes. Yes, I did good, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> he got his answer. <laughs> You realize this is the defined true form of Sean Bean. He's seen your transgressions and forgives you. He then asks if he can take you back to your home world so that you may live happily ever after with God. Oh, God. Yep. God, she's just inside all of us. So that portal took us away from our home world. I knew this place hmm. was weird with all the PewDiePies. Yeah, it was a little weird. And Sean Beanism actually came like really quick. We created that. Yeah. With one final look at PewDiePie Amsterdam. You enter the portal. Is it like how Marvel does multiple universes like Earth 362? That's just like. No, they just oh. gave it to us. Wow. Oh. You got off easy, kid. Um. <laughs> now press enter so it continues. Oh boy. Man. Something to work with. Here it comes. Uh, is it. Huh? The oh. end. Oh shit. Is that the end? Yeah. I don't know. Hit enter again. See what happens. Nothing. Oh. Nothing. That's it. My dude. God, dude, we entered that. It ended on like a, you know, a hopeful note. You know, we did. I like that. We don't know if we made it home. <laughs> Damn, it's over. Do sex. Oh, the end. Yeah. <laughs> we got the it's end. Be dramatic. It's just like, dude, it's 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 over. The end. Come on, man. Dude, I love this what freaking a, what thing. What a tail. It's so cute. It's such a good freaking product. Oh, man. Dude, who made this game again? Sean Bean. Thanks, Sean. He did such great work. He really... <sighs> he really came into his own shell after he stopped getting killed by a bunch of movie he, he directors. He really did. He really did. Yeah. Become as God and rule with an iron vest. It's just that easy. The end. <laughs> the end. Ugh. What the hell? You actually made a demon dog. Oh my god. Leave <laughs> my dog alone. <laughs> you, can, so you can do that to Peanut. You can't do that to Lily. It doesn't even look that weird. Like, if, it looks like there's a fisheye lens that took the picture. <laughs> it looks like a hamster. Oh.